Hey guys, welcome back to Tracy's Place. I'm glad you stopped back by my channel. Today we're going to be learning how to clean a MacBook Air, the screen, and also kind of in the crevices like and different things of the MacBook Air. My keyboard is not dirty because I have this cover on it, but you see here I have a little bit of, I don't know what, because it's covered all the time. So I'm going to clean that as well. And it has a few little spots here that, you know, little stuck on spots. You could be eating or whatever, eating cereals. Things just splatter on your keyboard, unfortunately. So we are going to learn how to clean this up today. So as you can see, the screen is pretty dirty from fingerprints. And also when I close this down, these marks get on the screen. The marks from the keyboard, the little cover gets like, see that? How the imprints on there and then it's just from fingerprints fingerprints and things splash on it or whatever and it's dirty i've had this for about a year and you guys i have not cleaned this yet so ask yourself when was the last time i cleaned my computer screen so we're going to go ahead and get started what you want to use is a microfiber cloth and on one side it really doesn't matter which one just kind of clear the dust away from your screen and from your computer, any little particles that could be there. And then we're gonna flip it over. And, and oh, also, I'm sorry, you wanna put it on an old towel. This is an old towel. So I'm gonna go ahead and the water right here. And I am going to just dip my microfiber cloth in the water very slightly, just a little bit. Okay, and it leaves little beads on there. It doesn't really soak in when you put it in. You have to kind of rub the water in. Okay, so here it is, still dirty. And maybe I should tilt it. No, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna turn it this way. I want you all to see it actually as I'm cleaning it, but okay, hopefully you can see that. So you wanna take your microfiber cloth that's damp, not soaking wet at all, just damp. And you wanna go ahead and wipe your screen. Don't press on it super hard, just press a little bit, just a little firm. And you wanna go back over it again and just wipe from side to side. And you want to get in the corners really good. Just kind of take extra care in the corners. For some reason, the corners, the outside and the rim, and I guess a lot of times because you pick your computer up from the top, sometimes when you're opening it, you open it at various places and your thumb prints and stuff get around the edges real good. So just kind of Get the edges really good. And if you see any spaces that need a little bit of extra care, a little bit of extra rub, and go ahead and do that. And I don't know if you can see that, but that looks pretty good. And I'm gonna flip this to the dry end, and I'm just gonna dry it off from being damp. And look at that. Okay, and look at that, you all. Look at that. It's very easy. I think a lot of times people don't clean their screens because they don't know what will clean them. And um, they try to clean it with something dry and it doesn't come off and they just forget it. So that's how you clean your macbook air or most likely any laptop that's how you clean your screen so i'm going to teach you how to clean this right in here also and around down here we are going I'll to use a q-tip just a regular q-tip i am going to let me move this down a little bit further right in there you see those crumbs or whatever that is little particles we're going to get that clean so again you want to just take your Q-tip, dampen it, 
And what we're going to do is squeeze it. Get that extra water out of there. We don't want it wet, wet at all. We just want it damp. Going in again, we want to just rub along there and see that? See those particles come up, that dirt? <laughs> also, you guys, pull up if you have a cover on yours. I am so glad I have a cover on mine. So you want to clean the cover as well. You just clean it with your microfiber cloth. And you just dampen it and then wipe it dry. I won't do that on camera because that's easy. Do it just like the screen. And you see right here we have this little, I don't know what that is on the space bar and on the B and those keys down there. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to dampen the cloth again. Make sure it's not soaking wet. And I'm just going to wipe that clean. And see that? It's gone. Just dampen it and wipe. So I'm going to do the rest of the keys like that. And as you can see, all those little spots are off of the keyboard. Also, guys, if in between your keys is icky, which I'm sure there's something there if you don't have a keyboard pad or keyboard cover, go ahead, dampen the other end of your Q-tip and go ahead and wipe in between your keys. But nothing's on mine because I have my cover on all the time. But yeah, go ahead and get in between your keys. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to clean this bottom part. Again, what you want to do is just dampen your microfiber cloth, get the excess off, and go to town wiping. You can see a visible difference just by doing that. Make sure you get right here really good. For some reason, that's a little icky. Might want to get right here last because it's going to pop on. This is the touchpad for your mouse. And there you go. It is all clean. All the smudge marks are off and everything super clean all right guys so that is it if this was your first time here please feel free to look around my channel i have plenty of other videos on how to do things cooking videos vlogs reviews travel everything so i hope you'll enjoy it and if so hit that subscribe button also share this video share this video hit the like like this video give me a thumbs up and i'll see you guys next time right back here on tracy's place bye